So what can a caregiver actually do for me? Listen, if you want to know the answer to that question, stick around to the very end and I promise you, I promise you, I'll let you know that and more. You know what I'm saying? All right. So look, if you don't know who I am, my name is Kion Church. I'm your in-home healthcare guy. You know what I'm saying? I'm also the owner of Reliable Aid Inc. You know, so what do we do? We help financially challenged family members to become paid caregivers through the Medicaid Long-Term Health Care Program, more commonly known as LTSS. All right. So a lot of people ask, KC, why are you even doing all this? Well, check this out. I really believe that if you kind enough to put somebody else's needs before your own, you really deserve a paycheck. You feel me? Now, I don't know if y'all know my story. Amanda, how you doing today? But I, I kind of had to like move. I ain't going to say kind of. I really did it and I'm still doing it. You know what I mean? I had to move from where I lived at to come move to my parents' house to take care of both of them because they was kind of like in trouble and they needed a little extra help. You know what I mean? It wasn't like imminent danger. The house was burning down. We on fire. But the case was they needed a little extra help, just couldn't get along by themselves. So, you know, a lot of other families are in the same situation and it's really only one way to get some, uh, to get some paid care. And I'm saying paid care, I mean non-medical. Because if you need medical care, you need to go to a doctor. You know what I'm saying? You need to call a hospital. You need to call 911. But if you need good in-home health care, that's what they call non-medical or activities of daily living, then you call me because we're going to get you a good uh, caregiver to help you out with all your needs, all right? Check this out. I'm going to tell you the big plan. Now, I may be talking to a select few people, right? Because if you're on here and you don't need a case, uh, uh, you don't need a caregiver, that's awesome. If you are a caregiver, you already know the kind of things that you're going to do for your folk, you know what I mean? Now, if you're the actual client, the actual Medicaid member, this, this conversation is for you, all right? So look, what we actually do is called activities of daily living. That's like the, uh, that's like the case book, you know, terminology, you know what I mean? School book definition, that's what I really wanted to say. Before I really get into it, if you're here with me now, hashtag live, if you're here with me in a rebroadcast, hashtag rebroadcast. If you got some special family members, some people that you really feel special about and they touch your heart and, and they on Medicaid and they need a little extra help, do me a favor, share this message, let them all know because we're going to break activities of daily living all the way down. All right. So look, just because, you know, I'm kind of like a notes taking kind of guy, I, I actually wrote the definition down. Activities of daily living. Now, what is activities of daily living, KC? Well, activities of daily living are the tasks of self-care tasks. <laughs> you got to get the word right on this joint. You know what I mean? So they're the tasks of self-care. So listen, this is the whole definition. Then I'm going I'm to tell you a little something. Activities of daily living means the tasks for self-care, which are performed either independently. Independently, that means by yourself. That means with supervision. That means with my help or assistance. You know what I mean? Which definitely means my help. Okay. Activities of daily living include, but are not limited to ambulating. Now, this is a big word. This kind of like threw me like, what's ambulate mean? You know what I'm saying? So ambulate just means to move from one place to another. All right. So they help with ambulating, transferring. Now, a transfer is when you help a person move from a bed to a stretcher. It could be from a wheelchair to a toilet. It could be, you know, it could be from the bed to the chair. It could be whatever. You know what I'm saying? That's just moving them around. All right. They help out with grooming, bathing, dressing, eating, and toileting. You know what I mean? Y'all know what toileting mean. That means going to the bathroom. So if you need some help getting in the bathroom as a caregiver, I'm going to help you out. You know what I'm saying? So this is really like, it's, this, this is like everyday stuff. This ain't no this ain't no genius work right here. You know what I'm saying? Now y'all got to excuse me because it's a little hot in the studio today. All right? The sunshine came out. But really what it is, you know, it's just the basic things that you do every day. If you like me, now, I hope you like me, all right? You get up every day, you brush your teeth, you wash your face, you know what I mean? Hopefully, you take a bath, you know what I mean? You maybe clean your ears out, you know, do what you got to do. You might cut your fingernails, your toenails, I don't know, you might you might shave the hair off your legs if you're a female, you know, whatever. But all those things are is activities of daily living. Now, those are the things that we do every day. Daily living is, you know, everyday living, everyday life. So, this thing really, like I said, it don't take no brain surgeon. It just really takes somebody who cares. You know what I mean? Now, if you was to need somebody on a more permanent basis, 
You want a paid caregiver because I would just keep it funky with you. It's no other motivation to keep somebody coming back to you. You know what I mean? Even if you got a son, a daughter, an uncle, brother, cousin, and they stop by frequently to help you, you may need more help than that. You may, may need somebody more sturdier, you know, more a little more structure, and they there every day to help you out. So now we got to go to what's called paid caregiver. Now check this out. I know y'all already know this because y'all watch all the shows on here, I'm sure. But first of all, it's only one insurance company that'll pay for a non-skilled, you know, uh, 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 paid aid. And when I say non-skilled, I don't mean that, uh, you know, you can't handle your business or, or the person taking care of you does not know how to handle their business. When I say non-skilled, I'm talking medical jargon. I'm talking medical talk. So when they say non-skilled, that just means the person does not have a certificate. That means they haven't gone to school to be a medical so-and-so. You know what I mean? They're not practicing medicine. They're just regular people off the street. We call them caregivers. Uh, the industry term is called direct care worker. You know what I mean? But listen, everybody with a big heart that loves people, we call them caregivers. And, you know, that's the kind of person that you're looking for. But you need a paid person. Now, check this out. This is what I can do for you. If you are Medicaid long-term health care program, what I can do is I can turn the person who comes to see you the most into your paid caregiver. All right. So, look, they text me, y'all. If you need me while we on the wire, feel free to text me. 302-689-3240. 302-689-3240. Look, don't call me while we're on a live because you're going to F up my live, all right? So listen, keep it to a text message. You know what I mean? If you really want some in-depth question answering, you know, hit me in the DM or, you know, put your name or something on the comments and just say, hey, KC, we need more information. You know what I mean? So just to give you a, 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 a little rundown of how it goes, you know what I mean? This morning I woke up. I told my pop, I said, look, man, you got to get on up, man, because I want to give you medicine. And I said, I want you to go ahead and get something to eat. I'm going to fix your food for you. So, you know, I got him up, got the toothbrush out for him, got the washcloth out for him, you know what I mean? Helped him with his shoes, you know, uh, did everything that he had to do with him. But it's really his stuff. You know what I'm saying? But this is what I'm talking about. These are called activities of daily living. All of this is just you giving your help. You know what I mean? You stepping up. Doing the best you can to help somebody else, man. That's all it's about. Activities of daily living. Now, the number one or the only one program that will pay for a, a, a non-skilled caregiver is called Medicaid. All right? What's going on? How you doing in the text today? So, listen. You have to be Medicaid long-term health care. Once you're in the long-term health care program, you call me and you say, Look, Casey, I need you to talk to my case manager because I need, I need to get my son paid. You know what I mean? Listen, a lot of people work a lot of jobs and it's really hard to stay home and take care of somebody if you don't have no income. You know what I mean? If what you're doing does not pay the bills and you're taking care of somebody else, I'm going to tell you like this. It's almost criminal because I don't know how you I don't know how you're going to make it. You're not going to make it. You're not going to make it. Everybody need food to eat and the supermarket ain't accepting no, you know, come back Thursday when you get paid. You know what I mean? So you're going to need some money now. You're going to need to put the best paycheck in your pocket that you can get. You know what I mean? You're going to want to call a reliable company like Reliable Aid. You know what I'm saying? That that way, we're going to keep the paychecks coming and you can get all the help that you need. You know what I'm saying? Really marvelous, wonderful system. I didn't invent it, but I definitely figured it out. If you need me, don't be afraid to call me. 302-689-3240. 302-689-3240. Look, I appreciate you stopping by today 1,000%. What I need you to do now is share this message. There's some people out here that's 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 sitting around and they, and they know they need some help. They need help bad. You know what I mean? But they don't know how to go about getting it. So what I need you to do is to share this message so they know everything. You know what I mean? It could be your cousin, your mother, your brother. It could be somebody that you don't even know. But bless somebody today by sharing this message. This uh, this broadcast, this nice broadcast we got going on, and let them know what what it's hitting for. All right, look, if you need me in the meanwhile, if you need me to talk to your uh your case manager, you need me to talk to uh somebody over there that's 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 not getting you moved fast enough. Let me know, Kelly. How you doing? Look, if you with me now, hashtag your city, hashtag your state, hashtag you a big hearted caregiver. Let me know. Say, look, Casey, I don't like blue on you. You know what I mean? I don't know. Whatever it is, let the people know that you're watching because this is a very important message and I need you to share it. All right? So, look, 
Before I go, I'm going to tell you like I always tell you. Don't let anybody shame or blame you into thinking that you're doing the wrong thing. You taking care of somebody else, man. That means a lot. And a lot of other people ain't even built like you. A lot of people can't do what you do. You know what I'm saying? If you're the client and you need a caregiver, make sure you call me. If you're in that Medicaid long-term health care program, make sure you call me. And I'm going to get your kids paid, your relatives paid. I'm going to put the paycheck in somebody's pocket that's going to guarantee they can take care of you. Let me know what I can do for you, all right? Talk to you soon. If you need me, 302-689-3240. Uh, also, we got a nice podcast. Miss Ludia will be nice enough to put the uh, the link in the uh, in the description, in the comments, and let you know where you can get all the good info at. Also, if you're watching this on YouTube, make sure you like and si uh, subscribe. You know, because this thing is this is powerful. This is powerful. I got people calling me all over the country every day, telling me, "Yo, KC, how do I get into the Medicaid long term health care program in my state?" And they know. That I'm only in Delaware. This is how strong it is, man. I got this whole program figured out. If you need something, call me. 302-689-3240. Other than that, I'm going to holler at you, baby. I got to go. All right? I love you. Take it easy.